hello everybody it's a friday night and you're up late with bobby munson here on the bravado hope you're having a good evening and we're gonna have some fun we're gonna break down a few different things on the show tonight because it's time to kick back and do some reviews but before we do i'm gonna go ahead and thank one of our sponsors uh well the main sponsor right now that is rogue energy as you'll see below we are a rogue affiliate here at our local establishment if you click the qr code in the side of the screen that'll take you right to their page but hey maybe you don't want to click that qr code well follow that ticker right below you'll see it going across your screen right now rogueenergy.com you want to go ahead and use the promo code ole pods that's going to give you 10 percent off your order why should you care about rogue energy because Rogue Energy is the energy drink alternative. If you're trying to get away from the high sugar energy drinks that you're finding in your local supermarket, then you're going to want to check out our good friends at Rogue Energy. They offer a low calorie, zero sugar, uh, vegan friendly, healthy alternative with amazing kick-ass flavors that everybody is raving about as well. So go check out RogueEnergy.com. Remember the promo code OLEPODS gets you 10% off of your order and as you'll see my man master 69 ryan how you doing on this friday night konnichiwa bobby yeah there we go buddy glad to see you're still up and having some fun glad hopefully i can entertain you a little bit here tonight i'm gonna be talking about some music talking about some movies maybe talking a little bit about the uh the world cup while i'm at it as well too because i'm in i'm in a fiery little soccer mood as well but first i'm gonna get kicking off with some Music, of course, and as always, my man. Ah, all right, uh, we're gonna we're gonna start with music, and that's uh, that's that's where I'm gonna go with this one. And this is a new album that dropped just a one week ago from a band that yeah I've been listening to for a fair amount of time. I would uh, I'd have to say uh, we're talking about this band right here. This is Disturbed and their new album, Divisive. And I've been very divisive on some of the Disturbed albums. There have been a few that I'm not as high on. Uh, definitely loved the early work. I was a big fan at the beginning. I have found certain albums I like in between, but went back to try out Divisive. And I went to it because of the couple of singles that had dropped from this album that really connected. And then there was also a, a song on here featuring a very, very awesome artist that just had to get my hands on this one and check this thing out. And I've had a few listens through of Divisive now. So I want to break it down track by track, let you guys know what I think of the brand new Disturbed offering. Starting off with the very first single that dropped from this album, we're talking about the song Hey You. This song is very stellar. It has got a heavy rock beat, very catchy, very hooky patterns that you cannot deny are worth the listen. And boom, we got Carl joining us in here tonight. Rock and roll, Carl, my man. How you doing? Great job there with the uh, with the watch along tonight. Saw you guys were kicking ass and taking names as always. And glad that you could join in on the fun here tonight. Talking about Disturbs Divisive album. First single off the album, Hey You, is also the opening track. And man, that just fires this thing right the hell up. That Hey You is very, like I was saying, it's very hooky, very you know, catchy. You really get yourself into it. And it also, it's it's got some deeper meaning as well as the kind of narrative of the entire album. It seems to be that this is kind of a, a, a central theme about the divisions within our world, the divisions we're making between humans and how we're pushing one another away, not showing enough love to each other, not really being there and the true support that we once were as people. And we're not united like we once were. And that tends to be the central theme of this entire divisive album so the title of the album very very fitting hey you badass track kicks us off into high gear uh moving on to the second single on the album this is bad man just another bad man yeah it's a good one another very very catchy tune that you can see why the band went in this direction when these things play on radio it's like yeah you got to turn that up you got to get that going because you're going to be sitting there you're going to be doing this as you're moving along hopefully you're not the driver doing that that's probably a bad idea but you never know you just get into the music and you're rocking you're rolling you're grooving but talk about possible other singles from this album there is a few that really stand out that could be on the band's list and the next two tracks on the album kind of fall into this category and i could see the title track divisive track number three on this album be another possible single down the road if not the next single off this album how often do you ever see that out tracks one two and three become the first three singles 
back to back to back off of a band's album. But man, that's how good this starts off. Uh, it's nothing groundbreaking. This is nothing you haven't heard from Disturbed in some way, shape, or form. But it's just kick-ass rock. And that's what gets you. It gets you grooving. It gets you partying. Unstoppable track number four. Much of the same. Gets that hard rock. You know, gets gets everything going. You're pumped. You're pumped. You're pumped. And then the album kind of takes it, it goes down, not down in quality, but it takes it takes a notch down. It goes to more of a medium rock. It slows it down a little bit of a tempo with track number, I think that's uh number five, and that is love to hate. So again, they're going more of the side of where you can start to hear David Draymond's uh vocal changes that he does. He can go for a a lot of different vibes and including like track number six feeding the fire tends to go in that more vibey tone that he had on the very first album that they ever released uh a lot of the songs that sound very like he's a big fan of tears for fears is what i get from it you can really tell it in his voice that that type of style was something that he listened to at one point in time and probably why they did a cover of shout on the first album release uh from there we go into the song that that damn this song i mean this is the the ballad track but it is a powerful ballad track we're talking about don't tell me featuring ann fucking wilson oh sorry to drop that one there but damn she is just rock and roll personified uh yeah uh you know it's it heart has been one of the great bands i've gotten to go see my wife a massive fan of them uh we have gone to see them together three times and it has been awesome every single time that we have gone to see them. And just awesome, powerful vocalist that Ann Wilson is. And you would think maybe there would be some contrast between her and David Draymond that would really stand out. But, man, these two layer beautifully together on this track, this power ballad. And then out of nowhere comes this really gripping so guitar solo in the middle of the song bridging it all together and oh yeah this is a song it is awesome if you don't mind having a power ballad a really good strong slower track than this song needs to be heard uh from there that's when the tempo starts to pick up again after that track so we get back to take back your life where that that beat starts to come back in okay they brought you down they brought you down all right now the party's starting to pump up and in crazy fashion, the last two tracks, Part of Me and Won't Back Down, are actually very, very heavy. They come back to the hard stuff, just like the album comes uh, off as in the beginning of it as well, too. So you get this really strong, heavy rock opening into some more kind of slower tracks, showing a little bit of the diversity of the band. And then, boom, they hit you with it one last time, a little bit of a dose right at the end of it to really top this thing off. Like I said... It's nothing you haven't heard from them before, but this is a fantastic headbanging experience. This is one of the stronger albums from Disturbed. I really did enjoy this one and glad that I took the opportunity to listen to it. If you're watching the replay of this, let me know in the comments on YouTube or anything like that. What did you think of the tracks on this album? And if you're joining me live in the chat, like I know Turnbuckle Studios, Mr. Carl, if you're listening in, I want to know your opinion. What did you think of Disturbed's? DeFi device album, uh, where that would lie for you in comparison to some of the albums they've done in the past as well, too. Great band live. I gotta I gotta remind everybody. Uh very, very, very strong in a live aspect. So even if you're not somebody who regularly listens to them, I do recommend seeing them live. You will have one kick-ass time. You can sit back, have a few brewskis, get out there, head bang, have some fun. It is a good time at a disturbed concert.